Let's take a look at the medicinal plant parts used. The whole plant includes both the above ground and the below ground parts. This is typically harvested when it's flowering. And sometimes you'll see that only the above ground part is specified. Usually this is for extracts because of the varying types of plant materials that you get and uh, the different actions they would have under extracting. So typically alcohol extracts and tinctures are going to be what you'll see. Some examples of this type of plant are echinacea uh, and eyebright and stone root which has varying types of chemistry in the above ground and below ground parts. The leaves include both the leaf and the leaf stem, the petiole. This is a common type of herbal medicine you're familiar with. For example, plants like peppermint and lemon balm um, and even tea, Camellia sinensis, are the leaf. These plants are often gathered pre-flowering specifically because the chemistry will often change when the plant is flowering. This happens a lot in the mint family. Herbs like basil and mint change once the plant flowers. And leaves are used for all types of preparations and are very diverse and have a much longer gathering window than some of the other types of plant products. Flowers would include the whole flower unless only the petals were specified. And they're used for all different types of preparations. Teas, tinctures, oil extracts. Flowers have a short gathering window because plants generally won't have flowers open for a long period of time. But some examples uh, are some common plants you might see like calendula or lavender. Roots and rhizomes are the below ground parts. Rhizomes tend to crawl along the ground. Some of the most common ones are ginger and turmeric and calamus. Uh, roots would head more deeply directly into the ground. And with roots, sometimes you include the rootlets and sometimes you don't. Roots are harvested best in the late fall or in the early spring and they must be well dried to prevent them from molding. They're used typically for decoctions or for extracts. Uh, because of the woody parts, they wouldn't work well as an infusion. Some examples of these, ginger rhizome and dandelion roots. And lastly, we have seeds and fruits. Fruits are the fleshy parts around a seed. All fruits contain seeds, but many seeds are not part of fruits as they come on plants. Seeds and fruits would be used for decoctions or for extracts. Some examples of these would be schizanderberry, hawthorn berry, and milk thistle seed.